Believe it or not, they come in peace. Though it looks like a missile, it's in fact a space probe designed to search for extraterrestrial life. Its eventual target is Jupiter's icy moon Europa. Beneath its surface is thought to lie an ocean of water, and where there's water, there could be life. But the journey to find it is starting here on the longest missile testing track in Europe. British scientists are using it for a dummy run of a probe called a penetrator, destined for space. Down here at the business end of the range, they're building a two and a half metre thick block of ice that's designed to replicate as closely as possible the icy surface of Jupiter's moon Europa. The idea behind the project is for the penetrator to hitch a ride on a future mission to Jupiter. While orbiting the moon Europa, the device is released and the penetrator dropped to the surface. The force of the impact will embed the probe in the ice. Once there, it will use a drill and sophisticated detectors to test the material and beam the results back to Earth. So that's the theory, but they'll get just one shot. And that's why today's test is so important. You're trying to establish that the payload, the bits and bobs that will be inside that, have any chance of surviving the sort of impacts that you're looking at? Yeah, that's correct. So uh, within the penetrator here, we've got two main sections. Um, so at the front, in the nose down here, uh, there's a section which contains all the instrumentation that we want to test. So we've got a drill and a sampling mechanism, and there's parts of a mass spectrometer. Five years' work. Culminating today. Into a block of ice. Mm. How, how nervous are you? Uh, I'm fairly confident at the moment, yes. Slept fine last night. So the range is evacuated. Range control, this is Central 9. One minute warning for firing. Stand by to fire on C9 range, trial 2T026, firing number one. Got it, keep And in two tenths of a second, the test is over. Wow. But slow motion cameras reveal the penetrator leaving its rocket sled at 700 miles an hour. It then obliterates the carefully crafted ice target and nearly exits through the steel and concrete roof above. So did it work? The first job is to find where the probe ended up. Well, a solid block of ice target has been reduced to instant snow, so clearly the rocket part of this experiment has worked. But because they've essentially smashed a Swiss watch into a wall at nearly the speed of sound, the crucial question now is whether the fragile components in that penetrator have survived. Are you pleased? Uh, we are pleased, yeah. I think if uh, it, we went in a bit faster than we were expecting and in a bit of a higher angle, but if it survives this, then we know the design's really robust. When they finally recover the penetrator, it's clearly intact. Good news for a technology that could help explore the solar system more cheaply and efficiently than anything else. It's a whole new type of spacecraft that we're building. Penetrator is essentially a, a mini spacecraft, but built with a completely different technology to how spacecraft are built. So it's something very new and challenging, but it's also op going to open up a whole different area of exploration. There's a fair bit more testing to do before a penetrator ends up heading to Europa or anywhere else. But it's just possible a device like it might be the first to find life elsewhere in the universe.